All right, so hello everyone. Uh, this is Dom of the 8 Bit Project, and I'm going to be showing you today how to build an automatic door on Minecraft. So, in um, true fashion of TV, is one I built earlier. So, there's two pressure pads there, and you step on them, they go away, you walk through, and that, that suspends the charge. Sorry, my cat's in the background. Also, sorry for the low mic quality, I haven't actually got a headset. So, I'll just do that again. So you step on that, you walk through, opens again. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you would build that. First of all, you need sticky pistons. Uh, if you're on survival, that is a piston plus a slime ball. If you're on creative, just get out of your tab menu there. Um, so you want three of them, like that. And then a four block gap to... Three, four, then oh, whoops. Mm. Okay, so you put one there. Mm. Okay, and then you so you have these two pistons with a four block gap in between. And now what you want to do is attach what you want. I'm gonna use blue wall because I oh, know I don't want to use blue wall, I want to use white wall first. I'm gonna use white because I like all the pretty colours that the wood makes. It makes me happy. Okay, so you got it like that. So at the moment you should have that. Now round the back. Oops. Okay, now round the back. On the second piston, so the middle piston up, you put this. So you put two blocks across, and one block so it makes a little diagonal there. You do the same on the other side. So yeah, just do that and diagonal. Hmm. Well, I'll just fill that in for later. Okay. And now what you want to do is dig down one block, and then exactly one block under the brick or whatever block you've decided to use for that bit, put a redstone torch. Do the same on the other side. And now you put redstone wire, or redstone dust even, there and there. Let me just make that one come out. And then you put there, there, and there. To make the rest of them come out, you see? So now all of them on one side. I'm just going to disable that. Alright, okay, now all of them on one side are out, so you just do the same for the other ones. So there, 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 and there. Okay, and now you have that little wall going there. Okay, so now you've got that bit done there. So you've got that little wall in the middle, all the pistons are active. You've got the redstone torch in there, the redstone wiring, and those bricks, or whatever you block you decide to put in. You go around. You don't go around, sorry, for <laughs> giving you the actions of what I'm doing. Um, you want those pressure pad bits that you step on and the door opens. Okay, so what you're doing there, my good friend, oh, weird voice, is you exactly parallel to where the redstone torch is, you dig a two by two, so two down and two across trench. So you just do this. And you want to do this until you reach the other redstone torch, which is there. So you do like a trench like that. And I just do the same on the other side. If you look at it from above, you have the piston bit, and then you have these two trenches. Now in the trenches, this is the really only ever so slightly complicated bit. You put redstone like this all the way around over here and to the other torch but where in the in the like the two by two block there where the two are meeting you put one there and one there so it makes a little loop up in a circuit and that's going to be where your pressure pads are and then a short circuit is um, the two redstone torches make open for you so do that on both the sides of the door Not be fine. Okay, and there we are, and you put them there like that. And now all you need to do is you get your flooring, put it on both sides. And you put your stone, you can I think you can use wood, but no no I think you can use wood, but it's probably best to use stone because the delay on them is slightly faster. So now as you notice, as you step on these two pressure plants, 
those two pistons will deactivate. You can walk through. Those ones are perpetuated, so you don't get, if you're on survival, you don't get smushed in the door. And that is how you build your automatic door. Of what we've done so far in this lesson, as it were. So you have your three pistons on either side with a four block gap in the middle. You then attach your whatever material of whatever you want to make the door out of. Sorry, I got a bit busted there. Okay, you put your block thing, so I don't know, I have no idea what it calls, your block structure. Um, two across, one down, like the little diagonal bit, on both sides. Then you put a redstone torch directly under the single single block there. Uh, nah, uh, bleh. Then two redstone dust leading to the bottom piston. Fill in the hole, whoops. Um, and then link it all up there, and that should set off the top two. Um, then you obviously do the same on the, on the other side. Then you dig a two deep by two wide trench from one redstone torch to the other. And you do redstone wiring just from the redstone torch around the back. And then you, sorry, I destroyed that for a sec. You, so it's like that, and then you link it up for that little cross section exactly where the door meets when the pistons are pushed. You do that on both sides, and then you put down your material and want kind of a bridge and put two pressure pads down. You step on the pressure pads, the door opens, bish bash bosh, you're done. So now what you can do, like I've done on the blue one over here, is you can just cover that up like you can see in there, that's exactly the same on the inside. Um, you can just cover that up with stuff. Just make sure you don't block any of the redstone wiring, for instance, if I do that. I can't actually put that down, but if I cut, cut it off like that, that cuts off the charge, so that won't work. So just make sure you kind of put it around the outside like that, and so it doesn't block any of the charge. Also, um, yeah, you want to cover those trenches up with dirt so you don't fall in them. Um, that's about it. It's been Dom from 8-Bit... Oh, I've forgotten the name of our channel. Fail. Um, this has been Dom from 8-Bit Project. That's it. Um, and I'll be making more of these creative videos. Comment, rate, subscribe. Any other thing you want me to try and build, I'm pretty good. So I'll probably do that for you. Bye-bye.